Welcome to this week's edition of the RegTech Africa News Roundup. And here are the top headlines for the week. CBN reaffirms banks prohibited from using FX gains for dividends or expenses. CBN to impose sanctions on MFBS for delayed or non-submission of monthly returns. CAC strengthens regulations for registered entities to enhance service standards. Pension fund assets surge to 19.531 trillion naira as of January 2024, according to Bencom. In African news, Flutter wave discontinues barter virtual card shifts focus to remittance services. African startup funding surges to $217 million in February. Nigeria leads to charge. Banco do Brasil has teamed up with German to conduct pilot trials of offline payment as part of its central bank digital currency, CBDC initiative DREX. Now the news in details. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has reiterated its stance that deposit money banks are not permitted to utilize foreign currency gains accrued in 2023 for dividend payouts or covering operational costs. Following the devaluation of the Naira in June, banks reported increased earnings largely attributed to devaluation gains. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has issued a stern directive to all microfinance banks, MFBs, emphasizing the imperative of promptly submitting statutory monthly returns via the FinA application. In a circular signed by Valentine Ruluka, Director of the Financial Policy and Regulation Department at the Apex Bank, addressed to all MFBs, the CBN expressed its satisfaction with the recording issue of delayed or non-submission of periodic returns on FinA by MFBs. Uzaini Magaji, the Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission CAC, has announced that the Commission is intensifying its regulatory measures on registered entities to ensure they uphold service quality standards. Magaji also reviewed ongoing efforts to enhance the company's registration portal, CROP, by collaborating with software vendors. The aim is to address operational inefficiencies and streamline service delivery processes to eliminate delays. Data released by the National Pension Commission, PENCOM, indicates that Nigeria's pension fund assets soared to 19.531 trillion naira as of January 31, 2024. This figure reflects a notable increase of approximately 6.40% compared to the 18.356 trillion naira reported as the net asset value in December 2023. The details were disclosed in PENCOM's monthly report for January 2024, which was made public. Let's go for a short break and when we come back, the news continues. Welcome to the 2024 RegTech Africa Conference on Awards. Happening in the city of Lagos, Nigeria on the 23rd and 24th of May 2024. This event promises two days of unparalleled insights and interaction. Theme Harnessing partnerships for Africa's prosperity, bridging the data trust gap, 50 plus speakers, 1,000 plus participants. Join us as we empower women in red tech and captivating roundtable discussions. Calling all C level executives, regulators, policymakers, investors, and key industry stakeholders. This is your platform to drive innovation and regulatory excellence. Register now and be part of this transformative experience at the 2024 RegTech Africa Conference on Awards. Engage, connect, collaborate. See you there. Flutterwave has announced the discontinuation of its batter service, a virtual card platform introduced in 2017 as part of the fintech company's growth strategy. The decision, as stated by Flutterwave, is rooted in a market analysis that identified evolving customer needs and changing trends. In February 2024, African startups rebounded from a sluggish January, experiencing a significant surge in funding, with Nigeria emerging as a frontrunner in fundraising efforts. According to the Big Deals report, Total startup funding in February skyrocketed to nearly $217 million, marking an impressive threefold increase compared to the previous month's $77 million. <music> the 
Now finally, is world news. We have steamed up with German firm G plus D to conduct pilot trials of offline payment as part of its central bank digital currency, CBDC initiative DREX. The trials aim to explore various payment scenarios using the Brazilian digital currency in environments without internet connectivity or access to the power grid. And that's it for Arctic Africa News Roundup. Join us again next week for all other important news updates.